Let's try another brain teaser. Imagine we have four travelers. Let's call them Mr. A, B, C, and D. These four gentlemen have to cross a bridge over a deep ravine. It's a very dark night and the travelers have but a single source of light, an old-fashioned oil lamp. The light is essential for successfully crossing the ravine because the bridge is very old and has plenty of holes and loose boards. What's worse is its construction is really quite weak and it's in a dilapidated condition. It can only at best support two of the men at any time. The question is, how should the men arrange themselves to cross the bridge? The oil lamp has a limited supply of fuel and time is running out. Now each traveler needs a different amount of time to cross the bridge. Mr. A is young and healthy and needs but a minute to quickly traverse the bridge. Mr. D, on the other hand, is an old man who recently had a hip replacement and will need 10 minutes to get across the bridge. Mr. B and Mr. C need two minutes and five minutes respectively. And since each traveler needs the light to cross, whenever a pair of travelers go together, it's the slower man who determines the total time required to make the crossing. What is the quickest time possible for all four travelers to make it across? Now, before you start thinking of sneaky little solutions, let me just say that no, you cannot throw the oil lamp from one side of the ravine to the other. And no, you cannot leave the oil lamp halfway along the bridge and expect it to cast enough light so that they can all make it across. Nor, like my daughter suggested, is it okay to just run off and leave the old guy to his fate alone in the dark. So how should all four travelers successfully cross the bridge in the minimum total time? If we assume that there's only 18 minutes of fuel supply left in the lamp, can they all make it? I'm gonna let you think about this one and post your answers in the discussion forum online.